Words are his power. I would have thought an axe was his power. You know the Grady twins aren't even in this? Come play with us. Yeah, so the twins aren't in this, but um, giant moving monstrous hedges are. And Stephen King wasn't too happy with Kubrick's film. Actually, I've heard um, Stephen King kind of likes the movie now. He enjoys it now. Thanks a lot, Stephen. You had a genius making one of your things into a masterpiece for once. Actually, I do like the Langoliers, though. Oh, yes, so what happens to Jack Torrance at the end of The Shining? The movie. I don't know what happens to him at the end of this because I couldn't get past the giant, monstrous, moving hedges. So he freezes to death. And then we see him in a 1921 photograph with Hitler. Uh, how can he be in that photograph? Is he really old? Is he a time traveller? Is it his dad? Um, is it like a metaphor saying that the ghosts of the Overlook have claimed his soul and he's now with them and Adolf? Is he a reincarnation of the previous caretaker? Did aliens transport... Wait a minute. Reincarnation of the previous caretaker? Remember when Grady said, You've always been the caretaker. Whoa, just got goosebumps. How about you? No? Ah. Oh. So yeah, that must be it. He's a reincarnation. It's like the theory of an eternal recurrence. Uh, living the same life over and over again. Uh, the eternal hourglass of existence is turned over and over and with you in it, a grain of dust. Oh wait, that's like the answer to the movie Windchill, a direct-to-DVD B-movie. I've just compared The Shining to something I bought from Walmart in the bucket. But actually, this is a good movie. I've lost all respect now. I didn't have anything funny to finish with, so I was going to finish with something poignant. The eternal regression theory of reincarnation. Okay, so the, the, the bear costume who was blowing that bloke in the bedroom, do you reckon he is the same character from that old Twilight Zone episode? Yeah, I think he is too. Subscribe, please.